cancel Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thank you, Spencer Hughes, dating Savannah Moran at the Racing Bureau Start Zone. We are underway with James Essex and Donnie Moran. And feature number one, Spencer's going to grab the lead out of turn number two. Tim McCready running in second, down the back straight away. Here comes McCready on the bottom, and they go side to side into turn three. Lap one, Donnie, who's got it? McCready swings it way out wide, and McCready will be lap number one. Slide job coming right back. You know, it's the track's racy. They're going up and down. You know, that's awesome. Spencer Hughes down the back straightaway. Tim McCready, as they end at a turn three, they're side by side off a of turn four. As they work, lap number two at the line. McCready still out in front here in the Sneakham County. Spencer, he passed him right back. Tim's going right back by him. You know, it's just they're fighting for the lead from one corner to the next. It almost looks like sprint cars out there racing yeah, they when they're flying. swapping the lead. They're flying 15-9 that last time around. McCready still out in front in 39, three in the books. Spencer Hughes a close second, then it's Garrett Smith, Jonathan Davenport, and Clint Keenan. Davenport, by the way, a spark plug wire off in qualifying, so that's why he did not get a good qualifying time right now. He runs fourth in this race, Donnie Moran. Here comes Overton, out at two. Donnie Moran down the back straightaway, in on Spencer Hughes. That's the battle for a higher starting spot tomorrow night in the A main. It'll be 60 left. They go side to side briefly off a of turn four, two to go. Slide job, slide job. Yeah, Overton got him. He got him. Brandon Overton will take the third spot. Hughes back to fourth. So if you're McCready, you're out in front right there. You've got one lap to go. Oh, and Spencer's on fire. Spencer Hughes, a fire in the 11 car. Under fire, the hood. come on, fire. And so the red is out. As we have got our safety crew down at Lucas Oil Safety Crew. We've got our fire extinguishers. Ready to go, Spencer Hughes out of the car. Driver's out. You think that's a fuel line? What do you think that was? It looked probably a fuel line come loose up by the carburetor. That's what it looks like. So we've got the, the extinguishers there to put that out in a safe manner. Again, Spencer Hughes climbed out of his car. At the racing for Heroes restart zone, back underway in the first of three features here tonight at Muskegon County. How about Doug Brown on the bottom? Whoa, man, they tried to go three wide. Well, Doug was uh, raced here a long time ago when he drove for Sean Weekly. Yep. He knows how to drive around this race track. Look at this. Yes. How about this move for Doug Brown? In the one. Brown and Davenport. Davenport gets a bounty. Doug Brown says, ah, he'll push up the track. Final lap. Final lap. Coming up, checkered flag is out. Donnie Moran, it's going to be the 39 of McCready. Who's going to get third at the wire? Wow. I said it for you, so you won't see so I, I want a, a three-way, or actually a four-way, because I like Earl. I'd like to have a four-way tie. That way everybody likes me. Hey, Dustin, by the way, he's drinking nothing but water. All right, at the Racing for Hero start zone, here we go. Moran's going to grab the lead. In a turn number one, 20 laps. And Hudson will be at work at the bottom. How about Max Blair down the back straight away, Timmy? I mean, Max is doing what he does. He's getting right in the middle of the track and just trying to keep that car arced up on the bars. And you can see Devin, he's, he's running crooked. He's a hard driver, the 99. How much different is this track from when you ran your first feature? Well, they definitely packed it down, and, and every time they pack this track down, it's going to get better, and it's going to get more racing. As you see Hudson down there, we couldn't do that in our race because it was still a little slimy, and Hudson's making good time against the tires, which, like I said, if you know Hudson, he's usually at the other side of the racetrack blowing the cushion off, so uh, it's getting racing. And now Hudson O'Neill down the back straight away. With oh. the, whoa, and Hudson O'Neill gets sideways. And he'll lose ground, and Max Blair, and here comes Moran on the outside, Timmy. It looks like he might have just bottomed out. There might have been a small hole there or not. He did a heck of a job hanging on that thing. Most of us might have been going the other way for a yellow at that point. Moran with the crossover on Edson, and he slips over the bank. As they come out of turn two, it is all Max, turn four rather, Max Blair. Now can Devin Moran catch him, Timmy? Six laps in the books. Yeah, your former crew chief, we saw him in West Virginia Motor, Tommy Greco. Here we come at the racing three rows. Restart zone, O'Neill on the outside. Here comes Earl Pearson Jr. to turn one. Good race, Timmy. Yeah, it's a big move by Hudson on the outside to, to get a run there and see what he does with it. All right, Max Blair. He is led from the start. O'Neill on the outside. Here comes Moran on the bottom. 12 down, eight to go. Well, Hudson's... Hudson is trying to find any way to get around Max Blair. Here he comes down the back straightaway, Tim. Yeah, he's definitely got to run there, and he's going to probably slide him into three and, yep, slide over his nose and uh, 
move on to the next one. I mean, he had a huge runoff of two, and Max wasn't ready for it, and that's what happens. So Neil now out in front, 12 laps in the books. So let's hit only a one lap to go. Moran second, Ross Robinson third, Cosner's up to fourth, Alverson fifth, Anderzak is sixth. Max Blair on the outside looking in, final lap. And Edson O'Neill is going to get it done here out of turn number four. He will win this second 20 lapper. Devin Moran will take second. Robinson, we got a battle side by side. And Cosner will edge out the 58 of Garrett Alberson. And Rob Anderzak gets the sixth and final transfer spot. All right, Dalton Wilson looking for his first win in the Lucas Oil Series for James Ratliff. Tyler Carpenter as well looking for his first career win in the Lucas Oil Late Monday Series. And the Racing Bureau starts over here underway. This is, this is a fun vantage point, isn't it? You get to see everything up here. Tyler Carpenter's gonna grab the lead into turn three, and we've got a caution. Ah, I think we had a jump start. So Tyler Carpenter go back his spot as they come out of turn four. Green is back out at the racing three row start zone, and Don Wilson will lead him into turn one. The way how about, how about the Don O'Neill starts? Yeah, the way this, this racetrack is, I think it's going to be going to be hard to hard to beat Dalton. He's uh, he's a gasser, and I think uh, this racetrack is going to suit him well. His best career finish has been second in a Lucas Oil race. Again, this doesn't count for championship points, but it does count for the all-time win list. Wilson leads Thornton and Tyler Carpenter, Tyler Bruning, off a of turn four. Boom's kind of like the mayor around our pit area. You know, anytime anybody's flustered or anything, he comes over and. And uh, he, know, he knows how to get Mark calmed down at times, which is good. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, we enjoy having Boom around a lot. Has he ever offered you a drink or a smoke? <laughs> a uh, bush light. A bush light, yeah. Down the back straight away, here comes Turbo in on. Uh oh, we got a race for the lead, Jay. Right now, he's closed in. It was nine tenths of a second. Now it's one tenth of a second. Oh, Thornton for the lead. Oh man, what do you do now? Thornton down the back straight away, side by side, Hudson. White flag, he's got it. He does. This guy's unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened there. Uh, we were we were talking and uh, we weren't paying no attention. I don't know if he messed up or maybe Ricky just wrote, ran him down or, or what happened there. Well, I've been accused of that a few times. They go down the back straightaway, final lap. He's going to take the lead on the white flag lap and Ricky Thornton Jr. is going to win in the 20 RT. Second is Wilson. 